If you've ever heard of symbiosis, you might think it's when two things live in perfect harmony, but that's definitely not the whole picture. Symbiosis describes any sort of relationship between two creatures living close to each other, and that includes everything from a housemate you barely notice to the freeloading roomie you just can't shake. Let's start with mutualism, the good kind of symbiosis, where both sides benefit. Like this coral, which if you look closely, is actually made up of thousands of polyps, each which houses algae called zooxanthellae and its tiny tentacles. The zooxanthellae use the coral as a safe home base while they photosynthesize, and in return, the coral gets to benefit from the extra food. Then there are the one-sided symbiotic relationships. This is called commensalism. Swimming around a coral reef, you might find a shark with trailing gray streamers. If you look closely, these streamers are actually long skinny fishes called remoras, and they're not a bother to the shark at all. Remoras hang onto the shark using suction cups on their head, and only detach to feed on scraps of food dropped by the shark. They also get some protection being a part of the shark's posse. And then there are the worst symbiotic neighbors, parasites. Look on the underside of this crab, and you'll see a strange globular growth. This is the reproductive organ of a strange parasitic barnacle called Sacalina. Unseen from the outside, the Sacalina's root-like tendrils wrap around the crab's organs and absorb nutrients. In the process, the parasite castrates the crab and changes the host behavior to maximize its own baby making. It turns out the undersea world has neighbors just as colorful as our own. <laughs>